The discovery of new marine organisms in Western Australia is vital for our future in terms of biotechnology. This domain of research is known as biodiscovery. Marine animals in Western Australia have developed and adapted to the differing and changing environment to, to enable themselves to survive. And the marine biodiversity in Western Australia is incredibly unique and very exciting when it comes to the area of uh, biodiscovery. Um, and we're certainly hoping to find a lot of uh, very unique uh, compounds and, and chemicals in Western Australian organisms that we are hoping will help lead to things such as cures for disease uh, and potentially cures for cancer. A lot of drugs that have been now been used by humans for antibacterial, antiviral, anti-AIDS, cancer, etc., were initially found in the natural environment. So chemist screening uh, and looking for compounds from natural sources were the ways that they found these drugs to start with. So they may have then synthesised the compounds in the laboratory, but these animals have been around for hundreds of millions of years and they've figured out unique chemical structures that researchers in the lab haven't got there yet. You know, we don't have that capacity, we haven't been around for that long to have worked out all sorts of different structures. So what they do is they use the structures in the natural environment, they synthesise them in the lab, and they make the drugs that allow us to get over our colds and cancers and whatever. And they're still needing to look for them because bacteria evolve and change faster than our drugs can keep up with them. Finding new species and studying their habitats is only a start. The secrets to unlocking how these marine organisms have mutated and adapted to their environments will empower humans with new drugs in ways that are yet to be fully realised. Professor Sean Collin and his team are looking at understanding marine biodiversity from a perspective not possible until today. Through the brain of a fish. By using a combination of neuroscience and biology, scientists can understand how marine animals use their senses to engage with their environments. So we're interested in, in looking at um, the sensory environment that these animals live in, that is how they detect light, smell, taste, um, detect electric currents and even water movement in order to interact with other animals, why they are where they are, why we have this great biodiversity, how we can protect it, not only the animals but also the, the environment itself. By applying a series of sophisticated techniques, scientists can gain a fairly good insight into what marine animals see. These techniques are further backed up by behavioural tests. Using um, information about the visual system and their micro light environment, we can actually predict where animals will live by looking at their visual system. We can also help protect the environments of animals that only live in a certain light environment. So for instance, if pollutants um, are added to the water or there's a large number of or areas of runoff where the water changes from clear to turbid, the animals that survive in vision, predominantly, that live in those areas are compromised somehow.